Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. It is that time to head out and visit the Blank Park Zoo right here in Des Moines. Colin Broquet joining us right now with something you might not have known about the Blank Park Zoo. Colin, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're going to talk about something that being in the middle of the country, being in the middle of Iowa, I don't think people realize the Blank Park Zoo has so much involvement with some marine life. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So we are here in the back of the zoo because it's one of our conservation projects. Uh, it's called the Florida Reef Tract Rescue Project. Uh, it's a collaboration between the Florida Wildlife Commission and the AZA, the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. All right. So uh, what exactly is going on with this? What are we trying to accomplish here by having this set up at the Blank Park Zoo? Absolutely. So uh, in about 2014, off the coast of Miami, Florida, they started to see the serious coral disease, the corals were dying at kind of an alarming rate. Uh, and they thought without some kind of intervention, we're going to lose a lot of these corals to extinction. And that's bad news, right? Because the, the corals provide that habitat for the fish and one of the most diverse habitats in the, on the, in the world. Uh, now, the explain what, a, what coral is for some people that might not realize what coral is. Yeah, great, great question. So coral are related to jellyfish and anemones. They're cnidarians. Uh, and they actually provide structure. They build a, a skeleton out of calcium carbonate with their, uh, with their skeleton that builds that reef. So they're actually a little sessile animal that just sits there and likes the light and eats the invertebrates and phytoplankton. Really? So uh, what we're seeing, the, the coral reefs that we're seeing is just calcium deposit that the animal itself has created. Exactly. It builds that whole habitat for all the other fish and wow. the beautiful colors. Yeah. That is so cool. But let's take a look at, at some of the video here and, and explain what was going on. You're standing in front of the, one of the structures here. Uh, what are we seeing here? Yeah. We, we were taking a look in, in the water right now. Sure, sure. So you're seeing um, all of our, these are called, we call them our coral trays where we house these corals. Um, basic objectives are to uh, maintain this, the genetic diversity of those corals that we, we rescued out of the Florida, coral, Florida reef tract, um, keep them happy. So talk to all the other facilities across the country. There's about 20 more facilities um, that, that house some of these corals. They took 2,000 corals. We have about 50, uh, about 10 different species. Um, so every day I'm feeding them, uh, taking care of them, keeping all the equipment clean, all that stuff. Okay, that with the big syringe, you see the, the, the cloudy uh, you know, substance coming out of there. What, what are you feeding them exactly? Great question. Uh, so coral do eat. They don't like just. They don't eat just light. They eat uh, phytoplankton and zooplankton. So little invertebrates. Um, that powder is like a powdered form, a frozen form, and liquid foods all slurried together with some of that aquarium water. And how uh, how much do they grow? And how much are they uh, you know uh, you know populating? Very slowly. Very slowly. That's one reason we have to take care of our reefs because uh, we've had these corals for about three years. I've been here for about a year. Uh, and at most, I've seen maybe an inch of growth on some of our fastest growing corals, and it varies by species. So some are a lot slower than that. But what's the, what is the fastest growing species of coral? Ooh, the, so we don't have them. These are stony corals, so they're all slow corals. That okay, grow, that's fine. That's fine. Fastest one. <laughs> I don't know the fastest one. Our fastest is probably the large flower coral. Okay, so. that, that's the answer I'm looking for, are the, the one that's yeah, here. Yeah. The other ones, let other people worry about those. The ones here, it's called the large yeah. flower coral yes yes i don't know if you could tell when we panned over here but there's a really big sort of white one with a great big polyps that look almost like cups okay I, I think nick is zooming coral. in on it now so we'll, we'll take yeah. okay so that's what we're talking about right there and that's the one that's you said you, fastest. you've seen a, a little like about an inch or a little less than an inch of growth in the past year yep that is gorgeous that is absolutely amazing now what's going to happen to these uh what's the uh the the end goal here for the this coral project you have going on at the zoo absolutely that's the the most exciting part is so we're serving as sort of a nursery and a genetic bank right now um but once this pathogen is is, is figured out a bit more we figure out how to deal with that uh disease outbreak that's hitting that florida reef tract the end goal is for them to eventually get released back out uh, and sort of replenish the reef. That is awesome. Uh, these corals. Round of applause for the Blake Park Zoo and some of the things you might not have known about behind the scenes. Colin, thank you so much. Go to BlakeParkZoo.com for everything Blake Park Zoo. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.